Hello guys, I'm testing today Sikonic L308 light meter as a proxy for Zebra's setup to expose face properly. This is particularly important in situations where you're vlogging by yourself and you cannot be in front of the camera. I'm only arm's length from the camera and I cannot see the screen. The light is shining in my eyes and uh, it, it's hard to see zebras or any information on it. And I have reasonably good vision. This is particularly useful also when you have main illumination coming from the back and the camera exposes for like a blue sky, camera exposes for neutral gray. And of course, this camera now exposes for neutral gray, uh, which shows that uh, I'm underexposing by two and a half stops. However, my gray card is illuminated at 40 plus minus IRE. And this is a little bit higher than the gray card illumination, but this is the setting for illumination of my face. My face also has highlights and shadows and somewhere in the middle of my face, zebras are showing. So let's uh, go ahead and measure uh, with light meter exposure. Um, both camera and light meter set up at ISO 400, uh, including the uh, C log on the camera, uh, 180 degree shutter, which is uh, 150 of so a second, and uh, f2.8 on the camera. And let's see what the light is. And as you could see, light meter read f2.8 as well. So, uh, this is a great confirmation that. In a difficult lighting conditions where you cannot really judge exposure You're too far from the screen, you don't have anybody to model instead of you um, while you're setting up shot. Typical vlogging situation or shooting somewhere outside at night at the time, or for example, in a very bright environment where it's very contrasty, you have shadows on your face, and you'd like to eliminate the face. So light meter like this, I think is a great proxy for Zebras, which is an incredible tool on Canon R5. I like it better than false colors because you know exactly when you see Zebra, you know exactly the RIE in that particular spot on the face or anywhere in the There's quite a number of uh, videos about use of light meter for lighting setup or for photography. Uh, for videography, not so much. It's typically all relates to lighting and, and the ratios and things of that nature. So with that, share with me and with the rest of community what your experience has been using light meters for video in a run and gun vlogging situation. I think simple light meter like this could be indispensable tool. See you next time.